Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to fetch records from a custom metadata type and display it in Lightning Web Component. For this demo, in order to display the custom metadata type records in a Lightning Web Component, I am going to create an Apex class and in that Apex class, I am going to query the custom metadata type record and then I am going to use Lightning Data Table in Lightning Web Component uh, to iterate and display the records. This is my sample custom metadata type. I have a text field uh, which is a custom field. Label and uh, the sample name is uh, the standard fields which comes from uh, custom metadata type creation. I created a, an apex class with the name sample controller. Here I am using at r enabled catchable equal to true the return type is list of sample underscore mdt so it will return array of custom metadata type records so using soql i'm returning the id master label and text field from sample underscore underscore mdt uh, custom metadata type in my lightning web component I'm using lightning card within my lightning card. I'm using lightning data table key field is ID data is records columns is columns uh, variable from uh, the JavaScript. Uh, I don't want to display the checkbox. So I'm, I am using hide checkbox column equal to true so that it will hide the checkbox column. In my lightning uh, web component JavaScript, I'm using wire framework to fetch the records uh, from the custom metadata type using that apex class i'm calling the apex class sample controller dot fetch sample records from a lightning web component using a wire framework and i'm getting the records from the wire uh, framework and then i'm assigning it to records for columns i'm using uh, a constant here and then I'm assigning that constant to this columns variable so now let's demo and see it in order to test it I'm using the target as lightning underscore underscore tab so that I, I created a lightning web component tab and then I'm displaying the custom metadata type records Please check the video description. In the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get the sample Apex and the Lightning Web Component code for reference. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.